Hello and welcome to the Insider and Advanced Threat Detection section of the StealthWatch tutorial series. My name is Drew Bradshaw and I'm a Technical Solutions Architect for Security Analytics at Cisco. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to utilize the alarm category Data Exfiltration to investigate a host within a network that has uploaded a cumulative amount of data to an outside host. Data exfiltration alarms should be prioritized as they can indicate that external attackers or inside threats have likely circumvented security protocols and data is leaving the organization. Before we begin, let's review the benefit of using StealthWatch to detect data exfiltration violations in your network. Protecting intellectual property is a top priority of CSOs and security teams all around the world. Data breaches cost organizations millions of dollars along with negative publicity. Insider threats and compromised machines can participate in gathering data with the intention of exfiltrating it for financial gain or just to cause harm. Security teams require a way to identify this type of abnormal behavior as early as possible to mitigate the threat before the data is exfiltrated out of the network. When the data exfiltration alarm fires, this indicates that a host is being used to upload more information to the internet than is acceptable. This could be anything from an employee using an external backup service to maliciously exfiltrating corporate data. We will start by opening a command prompt on Workstation 1. We will change the directory to the downloads directory and send the desired file using the commands outlined in the lab guide. Note that we will be using NCAT to send the file out using UDP 53, commonly used by DNS. Now we will log into StealthWatch to see if we were notified of data being exfiltrated from the network. Launch Chrome. Select the SMC web UI from the appliances folder on the bookmark bar. Log in using the admin credentials. In the Security Insights dashboard, look at the Data Exfiltration section under Alarming Hosts. Click the number 1 below Data Exfiltration to open up the current alarm table. StealthWatch has determined that there is data exfiltration activity above the acceptable threshold as seen in the EX column. Let's click on the value to drill into the alarm. We can get further into the details by clicking the line that begins with Observed under the Details column. From this security event, we could jump straight into the flows associated with this data exfiltration event but first, let's go to the host summary page for more context about this host. The host summary gives us more information about the host, which groups it has recently communicated with and how much, as well as current alarms and a seven-day history of alarms. Here we will take a closer look at the traffic from this host to the United States external host group by clicking the line of traffic and selecting View Flows. After the query is finished, we can see that our attacker is sending data using the port specified in the attack, 53DNS, to the IP address specified in our NCAT commands. Remediation of data exfiltration alarms is greatly assisted by integrating StealthWatch with Identity Services Engine to leverage rapid threat containment. Rapid threat containment allows you to quickly quarantine the host to prevent further data loss. If you're interested in learning more, sign up for a test drive. This is where you'll receive hands-on experience in our online dCloud environment. You can also sign up for a free visibility assessment where you can test out the software in your environment. Also check out the features and benefits of Cisco Secure Network Analytics at cisco.com slash go slash secure network analytics.